role of MRI has uh, significantly increased. Uh, basically, it helps us understand whether there is a dead tissue in the heart, whether there are any scars that are formed in the heart, whether there is any infiltration that has happened. And MRI is extremely valuable in the assessment of valves, in the assessment of the right side of the heart, in the assessment of leakages. So all these are newer functions. These are not there 10, 10 15 years back. It, it, it's such a progress. So the, the evolving, uh, the, the enhancement of the technology also has enabled us to understand these things very well. And most of the times we are able to see the, the whole limitation of, um, uh, you know, imaging is that it is not live, but uh, the modalities like 3D uh, echocardiogram and MRI, they give a real time image of how your heart is uh, beating in a much more sensitive and specific manner than what an echo can give and in with much more subtlety and detailed imaging of all that is happening inside the heart. So it, it has got a, in nowadays uh, the utilization of MRI for all these purposes is has become significantly high. And also in congenital heart diseases, it, it will help, it is very helpful to measure the cardiac volumes it is very helpful to understand what structures are abnormal, whether there are any holes. It can pick up very sensitively small holes and they also can give us insights in a three-dimensional manner. So, so that is where these imaging modalities have an upper hand as compared to a simple approach.